Look at it! Oh my! No driver! No driver! everybody and welcome to Abu Dhabi. We are here today at the Yaz Marina circuit. Check out A2RL, the Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League. That is right. If you take a look behind us, there is a super formula car with no driver in it. It is. It's about to leave the pits at Yaz Marina circuit and we're going to learn a lot more. Oh, oh. <laughs> right what incredible you. timing. That was not scripted. <laughs> completely coded. There's no one on a, you know, no one's controlling that apart from its own AI brain. That's Tommy's so completely and utterly in shock. I am literally shock. Just, I am in I've in never awe. seen this man so speechless. And that's saying something. I know what you're thinking, not another thing taking over with AI. But no, this is different. A2RL is looking to help develop autonomous driving technology that can coexist with us driving our road cars so that we can be safer on the roads, but also not lose the feel of actually driving. Bob's Bob. Plan F. Okay, so you join us here in the support pit lane. The teams are working hard on their cars, but more so the coding, the, the fine tuning for these, because it is spec Formula car, super Formula cars. And as you can see, Tommy's here. Wow, fancy seeing this guy here. Taking a look at obviously all of the mechanical engineering degree that you have, right? Oh, absolutely. No, it's, it's cool to see essentially what is a spec car and then all these guys are doing all the fancy stuff that we can't show. Just look at this, like, this is obviously where a driver would be, um, but this is the alas, brain. This is the brain, this is the brain right here. This is what will um, make this car go as fast as possible around the circuit. And I, I am fascinated to see how teams will tune their own cars in different ways. They can have personalities to their coding, uh, which means that you could have a Max Verstappen-esque driver, which I'm sure Tommy would love. Absolutely. And then you could have a Charles Leclerc type driver that's a bit more aggressive in qualifying. And then doesn't win. Shut up. So the point of all of this testing is that they need to fine tune things. And this car, has clearly had a little whoopsie. Uh, yes, quite the whoopsie actually, but the good thing is about this series, they actually embrace the learnings from it. So they're not, they're not afraid to show a cheeky little crash because they're gonna learn from it and develop the car more. The beauty is about this though, is the teams don't have to worry because all the coding is in the brain yeah. and they're all the same. So no, no team is now looking underneath going, oh, what are they doing? So what you're actually saying is what teams will actually be looking to spy on is if someone drops their laptop yeah. on the floor, then yeah. they'll be all scouring over to try and yeah, learn yeah. something. Make sure you put your laptop to sleep if you go for a walk, because that's With where the, the real data as well. is. You know, that's, mm. that's where all of the Adrian Newey... It's the big brain ...in the laptops. So we are now having a look inside the brain of the car. Look at this, we've got processors and sensors and CPUs and GPUs and... Luckily, there were some people around who knew what they were talking about. Let me introduce you to the heart of this piece. So this is our autonomous kit, our physical stack that we slip in here instead of a driver. We've got a, a, a GPS with two antennas, but that's really not good enough to drive it, it really needs, it needs a set of eyes as well to do that. So it's got three different sets of eyes. The first of these are, are these here, 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 and the same on the other side, and this is the radar. The second set of eyes we have is the lighter. So this is uh, enabling you to capture a 3D image through sending out laser beams. So now we know where we are on this earth. We now know what obstacles are around us, but we also want to get a, a faster fix. 
So we then put on a set of cameras. What these uh, cameras are doing is actually taking a picture of all the other obstacles that are very close to it at any point in time. And if it sees another car, it gets a camera lock on those cars. So that helps it to avoid these other cars, but it also helps, of course, in, in overtaking these other cars. So all of this information has been fed into this computer inside. And the job of the teams is to set a program, a set of code to tell the car what to do. This is where your preference for risk influences the way in which you program the computer. So while the AI will over time learn by keeping doing this again and again, it still is the heritage of the human and their preference for risk and their style of driving. Our race engineers, of course, are focused on the robotic side of things and all the sensors, but you know, they've come to build a relationship with Maverick. She's American, she's a woman, she's very sassy, but she's also a rookie. So as a rookie driver, we're definitely having her take it slow and we're building up speed. Every time she comes in, we're talking to her, you know, we're telling her that she did a good job. We don't, we don't want her to get, you know, scared on the next run. So we're, every code that we write, you know, we're being very careful and, and making sure that she's uh, learning what she needs to know uh, to compete in this international field. A2RO are focusing heavily on the fan experience and they've developed something very cool that we could only wish was part of an F1 weekend, like a virtual reality onboard experience where you can choose which team you want to sit in the cockpit with during a session, an app where you can race live against the AI cars and a fully developed virtual reality pit experience where you can get up close and personal with the car and pit lane. I'll fire it up. Yeah, go on, get, come on, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I mean, it's insane that I go all the way around. You've got a full pit garage right now. Yeah, we've got a, like a bird's eye view of the track. Uh, I can choose which car I want to ride on board with if I press the right button, which will probably be wrong. Yeah, wrong. Oh my, it's the trigger, Tommy. There Put we go. <laughs> Look, I'm old now, I'm a dad. I have no idea where anyone is now. Has everyone gone? <laughs> Here we go, 99% throttle pressure. We're about to start a lap of the Abu Dhabi circuit. Live through the VR headset into turn one we go, chucking it in. The mind blowing thing here is we are gonna basically drive past ourselves in real life. Now listen to the, the car beans. come past itself. You can hear it. That's that us. That is so cool. Hello man, Tommy. That's right now in this moment. I do love this. This is hugely innovative. You do wonder, like, <laughs> why haven't more sports serious, like yeah. Formula One done this? Exactly. I know there's obviously you've seen like we've seen mock-ups for the Apple Vision Pro and stuff, but nothing that actually is accessible at the moment. The Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League kicks off this weekend. Not only with the top teams racing each other around the Yas Marina circuit, but also an XF1 driver known as Danny Kvyat will race against the fastest AI car to see how it matches up. Links of where to watch will be in the description.